So Nerio, great to have you on the spot. Let's just jump in and uh, maybe we could start with the first question, which is how did COVID actually change your business? Hello, everybody. Thank you, Natalia. COVID was an extraordinary event that has led to a crisis. But like all crises, this also represents a great opportunity. At Technogym, we are positive and we see this moment as a time to define our future and accelerate the process of change. So what did you accelerate exactly? How did your future change due to COVID? First of all, health has become a top priority all over the world. People and their quality of life at the center. Second, digital transformation has accelerated. At Technogym, we've always believed in digital since the company was born. We are called Technogym, which means exercise technology. We see today all the work we have done in the past since when we launched the wellness system in Seattle in 1996. Today, thanks to our Technogym ecosystem, we are absolutely aligned with the market needs. COVID has brought problems, but also great opportunities for institutions and, above all, for operators to develop new business models and new customer experiences. Okay, so I have a question here. You're speaking about new business models. So what kind of new business models do you see for Technogym due to COVID in the future? First of all, COVID has added the home market in a hybrid situation. Club plus home. The market is not anymore club only, but is club plus home. This is the market we define, wellness on the go. At Technogym, we want to be a partner of our customers' club operators to help them delivering their service on the go, not only within their facility, but also to the members at home, at work, during the holidays and in their free time. This way, the fitness club becomes a hub able to provide wellness on the go services in all people's life touch points. Technogym's business model evolves alongside club's business model, not only an offline offer, but also online, not only on site, but also remote service via streaming. This increases the market space in an exponential way. The market can become much bigger than today. The percentage of active people in the next years can be way higher than today. You're saying that people are getting, I mean, that's quite obvious. We're getting way more, we're paying way more attention to, to our health. You know, the health awareness is rising. And uh, what you're also saying is that clubs are starting to become hubs for health and uh, starting to kind of, you know, com be become companions in the user journey, offline, online, on the go, everywhere. So the question is, you also had a surge, a 50% surge in home fitness uh, in the first half year of 2020. So how do you see the split between commercial fitness, which is gonna be, you know, clubs, hotels, and so on, and uh, home fitness in the future? Will we see like a real surge in home fitness or will it be rather evenly distributed between clubs and home? Right now, our business is one-third private and two-thirds commercial. In the future, we expect the split to be 50-50. The new business model based on subscriptions and on the sales of services together with the product is designed to create a partnership with club operators. We launched Technogym Live, which is an open platform capable of including our customers' content and making it available to club members at home and not just inside the gym. Our My Wellness 5.0 app allows fitness clubs to do business to business to consumer. The club can provide their contents to their members at home. This also allows clubs to provide contents to corporates and personal trainers. So the fitness club becomes a hub 
a pivot capable of providing services at work, at home, in the leisure time, on vacation, outdoors. Technogym ecosystem is the enabler, the solution to create and offer both offline and online services. Technogym is Apple-like, and Technogym Live is like the Apple Store. At the same time, being an enabler and having so many different actors, you know, getting into your ecosystem also means way more complicated businesses, right? If we just compare that to the American newcomers to Peloton or Miro or Tonal, right? They're focusing on just one case, which is very simple. It's either spinning, that's either, you know, rowing or boxing or something different. And they're just trying to execute this case in the right target audiences with the right marketing. And they do have lots of money for that. So um, the question is, do you really want to be an ecosystem? And if yes, where do you see the risks when we take into consideration these newcomers in the connected home fitness space? Technogym has 37 years of history. We have created all of this in 37 years. An ecosystem is not just something you build in two years. Apple took 30 years to create its own ecosystem. The approach of the other consumer-based mass market companies you mentioned is vertical. They work in a very large market like the United States, with big investments in marketing. They are great marketing stories that have raised lots of money. We have never taken money from anyone. Technogym has been self-financing from day one, when I was in the garage. Today, the Technogym ecosystem is unique in the world with the widest connected smart equipment range. It's not possible to replicate it. We have 80,000 installations in fitness centers, hospitals, hotels, a cloud platform with 15 million registered people, and 18,000 facilities connected to our My Wellness Cloud. And in addition, we are connected to 200,000 trainers globally. This is our ecosystem. The companies you mentioned are completely different. They are not competitors for us. We don't lose sales against these companies because we have a different strategy and positioning. I respect and pay attention to them, but we are different. Technogym is Apple. We are like Apple in business to business, as well as in business to consumer. Technogym has an ecosystem. We are not a vertical mass market company on rowing or spinning. We are also in hospitals, in sports performance centers, in the most important rehabilitation centers in the world. For example, we have BioCircuit, which is a line for rehabilitation and anti-aging. We have Skill Athletic for performance training. We have been official suppliers to seven Olympic Games. Ronaldo, Nadal and the best athletes train with Technogym. Champions train with Technogym. We are official suppliers of Juventus, Milan, Inter and 30 other teams in football, basketball and volleyball. We are completely different companies. We are not competitors of those companies. I need to ask a question though. Um, I didn't know if you get this news that uh, Peloton is also now official partner of the German Soccer Association. So the Germans, the German soccer players will train with Peloton. And what you're seeing, of course, you guys, you're in the Olympics, you're kind of everywhere, professional uh, athletes train with Technogym. An athlete like Ronaldo, who needs to train all types of body muscles with very advanced precision training techniques, covering strength, cardio, functional, stretching, and rehabilitation. How can he train with a spinning bike? Are we talking about a marketing activity or about the execution of a professional training? Is it a sponsorship or the performance training of an elite athlete? We are talking about two different worlds. 
If a person has to go through rehabilitation with a precise protocol, he needs many products and he needs a much wider technology. For instance, we don't pay to be at the Olympics, but we are selected because of our ecosystem. In conclusion, we are not in the same market. So what I really want to know as well is when you started Techno Gym, you were really starting with bodybuilding concepts and the market was virtually empty that, at that time. And uh, then slowly you evolved into a holistic fitness uh, and wellness company. So what, what would be next for your company? What segments, what markets would you like to cover next? And where's the future for Techno Gym? Techno Gym is an ecosystem. We are the wellness lifestyle enabler. Our project is to provide fitness club operators and the various stakeholders of the wellness community, doctors, corporations, fitness clubs, homes, hotels, with an ecosystem to deliver wellness lifestyle and to manage people's behavioral change. Techno Gym is a professional training experience, precision training. We have specific protocols for rehabilitation, for athletic training or training programs for fitness. Techno Gym means customization, the personalization of training. In a nutshell, Techno Gym is personalized wellness. Mm -hmm. And um, how do you think will the consumer segment evolve in the future? So you do have the Techno Gym bike and you saw that people are starting to buy it in terms of Corona. Um, you also said that you expect that uh, home fitness will uh, make up around 50% of your revenues in the future, if I understood you correctly. So where's, where's the future of you know, consumer home fitness tech um, going? What, what do you think, what, you, what, what are you seeing in this market? For Techno Gym, home is plus club. It's not about home or club. We are talking about a lifestyle. There is no difference. At home, Techno Gym is professional precision training. So there is no difference between home and club. Our strategy is to create a partnership between us and club operators to deliver training experiences at home, at work, at the gym, during the holidays, etc. There is no home market or club market. It is a single market for us, because Techno Gym is lifestyle. There are no barriers. Um, so your equipment has been is installed in 80,000 uh, wellness centers. And um, obviously you're speaking lots about clubs and you know how important they are to your um, business and to your future. So what did you do exactly um, after the COVID breakout to support them? During lockdown, Techno Gym delivered Fitness Club, the My Wellness app 5.0, which gave the 18,000 clubs connected to My Wellness the opportunity to offer members training at home and provide them with training experiences produced directly by their own trainers. We have supported our customers, who are partners for us, to communicate with their members and give their training experience at home. For the first time in history, offline and online have become a unique experience for the end user. Let's, let's get back to the overall trend of uh, people paying way more attention to their, to their health and bodies. So do you, you know, the Romans are saying that, or were saying, they are not saying that anymore, uh, men's son and corpore son, a healthy mind and a healthy body. And this is kind of, you know, I, I have the impression that you kind of see yourself as successor of the Romans um, and uh, also want to promote the healthy lifestyle worldwide. So the question is, do you think we are fitnessing the fitness renaissance? And where will this, if yes, where will this take us as mankind in the future? Yes. I'm absolutely convinced that we are facing a new renaissance. There will be an evolution from the green economy to the wellness economy. Man will be back at the center. Over the past 30 years, the environment has been at the center. Now, the person is assuming the centrality and consequently, the environment that is around the person will have great benefits. 
if a person pays attention to his or her own well-being and quality of life, this person will also respect the environment. If a person is not oriented towards wellness and health, typically this person will not be respectful to the environment. This human-centric approach is a great opportunity for humanity. Healthy people, healthy planet. A new renaissance will take place through wellness that was born in Rome 2,000 years ago. And now, in the Wellness Valley in Cesena, the Technogym village, the headquarters of Technogym, is an example of a wellness community that engages all stakeholders in the wellness economy. It is possible to create a new renaissance through wellness. And this renaissance will start from Italy as 2,000 years ago and will start from quality of life that includes health, culture, environment, art and beauty. Yeah, that sounds very interesting because, you know, more and more people are thinking of moving out of cities uh, due to, you know, COVID developments and uh, everybody kind of can work digitally right now. So do you think that we'll see this, you know, kind of smart city, um, local trend combined with the wellness? Will we see new wellness villages in the future where people will keep healthy and work together uh, like next, next years? Yes, I believe in it. I have written several books. We have created a foundation, the Wellness Foundation, to develop the community. Now, with Wellness Partner, one of our companies, we are creating different wellness communities around the world. I believe that there will be a lot of developments outside the big cities of ecosystems that will be based on wellness lifestyle and behavioral change by working on environment, technology, content, service, and of course, design and emotional approach. Wellness is an emotional approach, a lifestyle. Fitness is hedonistic. Fitness means looking good. Wellness means feeling good. Wellness includes fashion, food, furniture, and fitness. In wellness, there is not only an external approach, but also an inner component. Wellness is a balance between body, mind and spirit. Wellness is a culture. Yeah, you know, pursuit of happiness is also something which is really inspiring people for for new things. So let's go back in, inside and back to yourself. You started the company of over 35 years ago, you were 22. I mean, I wasn't even born that time. Um, and you started the company in your garage. Um, and out of that, you kind of built a multi-billion business from scratch, from nothing. So what were three worst mistakes that you made in these years? <laughs> I have made many mistakes, but having done so many things, I believe that you can become lucky. Doing many things means doing also many mistakes. I believe I don't make huge, vital mistakes, but I made many, and it was the mistakes that allowed me to learn. I understood what the priorities are. Um, if you were to start a fitness company today, which is not Technogym, what kind of company would that be? It would be Technogym, definitely. Okay. Um, it's good when you're so convinced of your own company, that's a good sign. Um, so, your motto is kind of to put the world in motion again. Remettere il mondo in movimento. Um, how do you put yourself in motion? What's your training routine? I train with Skill Athletic. I do cross training with Skill Athletic that includes cardio, strength, functional, flexibility. I train more or less four times a week. Then, during the weekend, I go by bike on the hills of Romagna and I spend time with my family. Alongside Skill Athletic, which I love, I do functional with Kinesis, stretching with our flexibility. And I also like outdoor. It is a mix of activities. My training is based on variety.
changing during the week and at the weekend, even outdoors. Well, that seems like a lot. I hope you still have time to manage the company. And um, thank you, Nadia, for the interview. It was good to know your view of things and uh, hopefully see you soon. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for your attention and see you soon. Ciao, Natalie.